Hello and welcome to another VectEasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today I'm excited to introduce to you two new features in the Content Manager, bulk uploading and bulk editing. The Content Manager is where VectEasy contributors can upload new assets, choose their license type, add metadata, attach any model or location releases, submit files, and view their status to understand where your files are in the approval process. Now, if you've already been approved and accepted as a VectEasy contributor, head over to contributors.vectEasy.com and sign in. From the main menu, select My Portfolio. We'll click on Upload, and now we'll see a secondary menu with the following options. Upload, Add Data, Pending Review, Approved, and Not Approved. These links can be classified in two main stages. First, for uploading, preparing, and submitting your files, and second, for checking the approval status after they've been submitted. So let's start by uploading some files. Clicking anywhere in the Select Files to Import section will allow you to choose your files from your computer. Alternatively, you can drag and drop or copy and paste files into this section as well. After you've selected a file to upload, you'll see its upload status. If it's successful, you'll see a green check mark. If it's unsuccessful, you'll see an error message stating why the upload failed. Be sure to review the bullet points below the Upload section if you run into any upload errors or just to learn what file types and sizes are accepted. It's time to add the appropriate metadata, licensing, and release information to each of our files. The beauty of the new bulk editing feature is that you can now add this data to multiple files at the same time. You'll notice at the top of the screen various drop-down menus that allow you to sort and filter your assets. This includes content type, program type, and date uploaded. After you've found the files you wish to add data to, you can simply click on a single file, or if you wish to select multiple files, hold the Command key if you're using a Mac or the Control key if you're using Windows, and click on the various files. You can also select a group of files by clicking on the first file, then holding down the Shift key while clicking on the last file within the group. Once your file or files are selected, use the editing panel on the right of the screen to attach an existing model or property release, add or modify your license type, free or pro, create or modify your title, and keywords. To ensure discoverability of your files on VectEasy, it's mandatory that you enter a minimum of five keywords and list them in order of relevance. But for better visibility, we recommend between 10 and 20 keywords. Consider words describing the design or location, the setting, type of people, mood, style, theme, activity, or any other descriptors of the person, place, or object being depicted. After your metadata is entered, make sure you click the Save icon in the editing panel to save your changes. Now you're ready to submit your content to VectEasy. Simply click Submit for Review and your files will move into the Pending Review section. Let's go ahead and click on Pending Review and see the status of some files we submitted earlier. These files have yet to be reviewed by VectEasy and therefore they cannot be updated or modified in any way. However, if you wish to cancel a submitted file and remove it, simply hover over that asset and click the trash can icon that appears. After your files have been reviewed, they'll appear in one of two sections, Approved or Not Approved. Let's click on Approve to see some files we submitted earlier that were reviewed by VectEasy and were approved and thus published on the VectEasy website. You can hover over any of the assets on this screen to view their details, and you can use the drop-down menus at the top to sort and filter your approved files. Once a file has been approved, it too cannot be edited or modified in any way. Let's assume some of your files were not approved. Those assets will appear in the Not Approved section. It's important to note there are two types of rejections. First, the Declined designation indicates your file was rejected and that it cannot be resubmitted. Clicking Declined will display a pop-up window detailing why the submission was rejected. The second type of rejection simply requires changes to be made before you can resubmit the file for approval. This type of rejection is indicated by the Action Needed designation. Clicking on this will display a pop-up window indicating what actions are required. 
After reading, simply click Make Changes and you'll be taken back to the Add Data section where you can make the necessary changes and then resubmit the file. So there you have it, a quick look at the new bulk uploading and bulk editing features in the VecDZ Content Manager. If you have additional questions, check out our support page or the Frequently Asked Questions section located in our Help Center. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your creative journey.